understand the scale of the damage from the lockdown, well, we need to hear from companies that are really right in the blast zone. I'm talking about companies like Carvana. For the outbreak, these guys were using the web to disrupt the used car business. They let you buy a car online, then give you free delivery with a seven-day return policy. Or you can pick it up from one of their giant car vending machines. When the virus hit and we went into quarantine, Carvana stock plummeted from 115 to 22. Investors sold first and then asked questions later. Brutal decline. Kind of decline that typically happens over the course of years when momentum stocks lose their mojo. Not days. Since then, though, Carvana's come roaring back as the company raised capital via secondary offering and rolled out a new touchless delivery program. Plus, some investors are looking at the bright side. If you have to buy a car right now, Carvana's the safest way to do it. And maybe this virus will help us, you know, maybe make us less will- willing to rely on public transportation. It's easy to get the virus in public transportation than in your own car. That's maybe why the stock's back up over 71, even after it got hammered today, down 15%. We want to know more about this story, so let's check in with Ernie Garcia III. He's the co-founder and chairman and CEO of Carvana. To get a better sense of how his company's holding up during this difficult period. Mr. Garcia, welcome back to Mad Money. Hey, Mr. Kramer. Thanks for having me. All right, so Ernie, the Commerce Department gave some numbers today, and they talked about spending on cars and car parts fell by more than 25% in March. Uh, the St. Louis Fed is talking about dramatic declines uh, from auto, uh, by auto dealers. H- how are you guys holding up? So I think this has been a tough situation on everyone. I think um, this came on incredibly fast, and uh, as people went in and you know, started worrying about their health and being locked down, obviously transaction volume slowed down a lot. So I think across the industry, depending on you know what numbers you're looking at and what company you're talking about, I think in the second half of March, many companies were down 50 to even up to 85 uh, percent, the companies that were selling cars. We've held up significantly better than that, um, but there's no doubt this had a big impact uh, across the board, across our industry and other industries as well. Okay, so how about the uh, the discounts that you're giving right now? Because they it, it's a pretty substantial uh, leap of faith to give people credit when we see from Wells Fargo at all that that credit is hard to come by and not everybody's paying back. Sure. So I, I think there's no doubt about that. I think you know we just started rolling out a promotion for our customers uh, in the last week, actually, that allows them to take up to 90 days to make their first payment. I think you know the goal of that is to recognize the situation. Many people are going through a very difficult financial time and try to have an offering for them that, that works in this difficult moment. Um, at the same time, we obviously have to worry about credit, as you pointed out. I think uh, you know, the good news there is credit is, I think, toughest when you head into a difficult time. I think once you're in a difficult time and we've seen, you know, 16 and a half million layoffs, which is obviously a horrible, horrible number. Um, those that do have a job today are probably a little bit stronger than those uh, you know, were months before. Um, so I think, you know, we're, we're making those offers to customers today. We feel confident about those offers and we're trying to do the best we can to be there for our customers in this difficult time. Do you think that the checks, uh, the little bit more than thousand dollar checks that are being sent out now could help Carvana? I think it could. I think uh, most importantly, I hope it helps all the people out there that are going through a difficult time because I I do just think this came on so quick and so strong. And and I think people are, you know, worried from a health perspective and they're worried about their financial health. And I think this money hopefully is going to help people, um, you know, bridge through this difficult time. But I I, I do think in general, uh, when people get, you know, uh, big sums of money from the government, whether it's tax season mm-hmm. or now in this stimulus, uh, that generally does drive some large ticket purchases. So uh, I, I think there is a, a chance that'll be a positive for us. All right, so Ernie, let me tell you a story, and, uh, and maybe you can help me here. Um, I'm about to tell you a story, but the conclusion is I want to know how you really, how you can get profitable. Uh, my wife wanted to buy a car, so I said, "You want to try Carvana?" So she said, "All right, I'll try Carvana." I didn't tell her. I knew you never told her so. She tried it. They brought the car right to her. And she said, the car's too big. I don't want it. And they said, OK. And they took it back. And I'm like, holy cow. I mean, it, they took it back. I mean, I couldn't believe it. But then I said, oh, my God, I feel bad. How does Ernie make money? He's just got, he just got beat by, by Lisa. Uh, well, what do you do? I mean, it's such a good service. Well, please tell Lisa she owes us a couple hundred bucks for that pickup. No, I think uh, what, what we hope is that's part of the offering, right? I mean, when a customer's buying a car sight unseen, we have to make sure it's very easy for them to return it if it's not perfect for them. That cost is very low compared to the cost of running a dealership or having all the people that normally walk customers through a transaction. Um, so all we would ask is that she tells that story, that it was that easy, uh, and we think that that'll work out in the long run for us. But they found where we live, and they dropped the car there. I mean, to me, that was like one of the great I – mean, maybe this is the way of the future because we were like, wow, they really did it. <laughs> yeah, well, so I think um, 
I think what our business is all about is about building an interface where a customer can go through and buy a car on their own simply, um, saving all the money that comes along with that and passing those savings on to the customer, and then building a completely different supply chain that enables us to drop the car off at your door, um, as we did in this case. Um, but then obviously when, when a customer is buying something that costs twenty or $30,000 and you know, they're doing it sight unseen, we need to make sure that they have the opportunity to return it back to us if it doesn't end up fitting their life perfectly. And so that's part of the model, and that's all built into the math, as painful as it may be. But I did feel like that, well, I mean, don't the other, aren't the other guys going to catch on? I mean, the other dealers, this is such a great feature. I, aren't you afraid that they're going to come in under you or do something like this and make it so you're not a special? Uh, well, I, I think... Um Something we've tried to do from the beginning is just think about our customers, what our customers need, um, build the solutions uh, that our customers uh, are seeking, and then worry a little bit less about what the competition is doing. There's right. 40,000 dealers in this market, and I think as long as we stay really focused on our customers, we're going to stay ahead of the curve. Um, and so far, that's what we've done for the last seven years, and I think that's, that'll be our goal forward from here as well. And you, with the $600 million raise that you did, I shouldn't be worried that you'll run out of money if this thing lasts forever, this pandemic. Well, as long as Lisa doesn't keep returning those cars, we should be okay. <laughs> so please, please, as I said, tell her she owes us a couple hundred bucks. She, she, your guys didn't know who I was, believe me. She has a different name for me. <laughs> anyway, Ernie Garcia, the third chairman CEO of Carvana. Thank you for so much for coming on. Great business model, sir. Terrific. Thank you. All Appreciate right. It. There's a wild one. I mean, if, you, if you're getting bullish, there might be a good one to buy. Man, money's back into the break. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.